Yo, what is going on, everyone? Today, we're going to be talking about the Pulsar X2 Kovacs edition and just all my thoughts and opinions around the mouse and how it compares to the original X2 and X2 Mini and just how build quality feels compared to other Pulsar mice and their products. So let's get started. So Kovacs and Pulsar released this new X2 Mini and X2. As far as I'm aware, it's just a color change with a couple of key differences that makes it slightly better, but I wouldn't call it a better playing experience overall from the original X2. But the amount of stuff you get with the X2 Kovacs is absolutely absurd, given it's the exact same price as the original X2 Mini. So in the box, you get the mouse, you get the adapter, all the normal stuff. You get the charger as well. I believe this is the best feeling cable I've used to date from Pulsar. A lot of their stock cables have a really nice, loose texture to it. But this one is just on another level when it comes to how good it feels in hand. You also get a copy of Kovacs, which is would make sense. It is a partnership program. You get a pair of CorePad Pro Skates and CorePad Air. And then you also get a pair of core pad grips. The grips feel phenomenal. They're not as good as Pulsar's Super Grip, which would be nice if they did include them in the box. The mouse did come out with already enough value in it. I don't think Pulsar is going to add another crazy value to the product. So let's talk about the main clicks. The main clicks are blue shell pink dots by Huano. They're really good, really tactile, really snappy. But in the shell of the X2, they feel the same as the stock GM 8.0s. Which kind of sucks because blue shell pink dots are my all-time favorite mouse skate. They're absolutely unmatched in a lot of other mice. The Orochi, the Super Light, the Lamzu Atlantis. Oh, they feel amazing in all of those. But these just feel like GM 8.0s, which kind of sucks because I really hate the way they feel. The side buttons feel really good. They feel really tactile, nice and stiff. The pre and post travel on this mouse is really good. It's just about the same as a normal X2. Mine are heavily modded, so it's a lot harder to tell, but there's a lot less play when clicking on the main clicks. So I feel like they've kind of like wrapped up all their QC issues that happened with the initial launch of the X2, which kind of gave it a lot of criticism when it first came out. The weight of the mouse is 52 grams. It's a solid weight. Most mice are around this weight now. Like their X Lite, I think is like 54. Uh, the Super Lite, 63. The Viper V2 Pro is 59. So you're going to have something in a really comfortable weight playing field. Like I said, it's pretty much identical to the X2 Mini in every single way. Besides the fact that you get a little bit of different colors, new clicks, and you get a bunch of accessories in the box. So I don't really see this being a better mouse than the X2 Mini because it's the exact same mouse, but I do see it being a better value because you do get an entire aim training software and a whole bunch of goodies inside the bag that make it absolutely unmatched for value. The coating of the mouse is something to take note of. The grips really help with this. They make it so you don't really notice how bad the coating is. But if you have really sweaty hands, it's not super grippy. Like in comparison to new Death Adder coating, Zowie coating. It's really good and grippy. So the sweatier your hands get, the better the mouse sticks to your hand and it's a really good, comfortable feeling. This is more like if you give if you have really sweaty hands like I do, there's nothing really you can do about it besides just kind of have the mouse slip out of your, your hand, which has happened to me before because I get like really sweaty hands. So yeah, that should be it. Uh, I think I covered everything. It's pretty much just an X2 Mini. There's no differences in anything besides the colors, the main clicks, and the amount of stuff you get in the box. I feel like for the money, this is probably the best value you're going to get. Unless you really don't need an extra set of grips, an extra set of skates, one of the best paracords I felt coming out of a mouse to exist, or any of that. If you really just solely want just the mouse, you can buy this, but this is a limited sale, so I would get this sent. So I would get this while it's still available. You can buy it on Max Gaming. Lethal Gaming Gear just had a drop. I believe the medium's only in stock now, and it's no longer in stock on Pulsar's site itself, so it's just kind of sucky, but it makes sense because this was a really hype mouse because you get a copy of Kovacs, and a lot of people want to try out the software. So I'll be giving away three copies of Kovacs with this review. You can go check the description to see how to win that. And yeah, that should be it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you guys in the next one.